Hi guys, I know it's been a while since I've last spoken to you, but I've been working on some very special projects, like scenery. Little trees, I know. But today I want to talk to you about this, War Machine. I'm a Signar player in War Machine. I've got long gunners, trenchers, but today I want to talk to you about trenchers. No, I'm gonna do a master class painting trenchers. First off, let's open the box. Well, and there they are, my Signar trenchers unit assembled. Today, we'll be painting the unit leader. Why? Well, because I will need him first before I can play with the others, so we're gonna do that one. All right, the first step in painting this model is like cleaning up all the mold lines with a file. Okay, so that's it for the mold lines. Uh, I've just removed them all. And the next step will be basing my miniature. Okay, the reason why I want to base this miniature before priming it is because I can prime the base with it. That will save me time later on. After having the miniature based and let it set for a while, I primed it with black. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is paint the, the blue parts of the miniature with Formula P3 Signar Blue Base. And after painting it with Signar Blue Base, you're going to highlight it with Signar Blue Highlight. If you don't have these paints, you can also use Ultramarines Blue and Regal Blue. Okay, so here we go. Now that was it for the blues, as you can see. Now the next step will be applying the metal parts, but for the metal parts we're going to give the, the parts that are going to be metal a base coat of umbral, Umber. Or if you don't have that, you can also use Games Workshop Scorched Brown. The next thing to apply onto the parts that we've just recently painted brown is Hammered Copper, a Filio game color. The fun part, we're going to go over it with Devlin Mud. It has to go on really sloppy and really thick to get a nice shadow effect into the metal. After the Devlin Mud is dry, you're going to apply over it Rulic Gold. And after this gold, we're going to apply another layer of Devlin Mud. Okay, now the metallics are done. Uh, only thing is that we want to add some rust. Because I'm working with copper, I want to use a copper rust color for it. And that's like a uh, faded green. And for that, I want to use scaly green and metallic medium. For your green rust, you want to water down the paint you just mixed up and you want to apply that very carefully into these crevices. Okay, so I now applied the rust effect to some parts of the, of the metal. Uh, it looks a little harsh to my liking, so I'm going to add another layer of Devlin mud over there and look great. Okay, so I think my metallic turned out pretty sweet there. And I'm going to add a layer of uh, solid gold. Well now, the, all the, the rest for the metallics is a nice small layer of Devlin mud and then we're all done with the metallics. Okay, so now over to the gun. So for the gun, you want to start off with painting the gun with chainmail. Now as the metallics on the gun are done, we're going to go over it with the dab black. 
Okay, after this wash of Bedab Black, I want to do the handle of the gun with dark flesh because it's really a dark earth color. And after that, I want to highlight it with Vomit Brown. Okay, since I think that Fomit Brown is a little bit too harsh, I'm gonna mix some dark flesh I used through it. And now for the highlights, I'm going to just make little strokes to make it look like wood. Oh, you see the highlights are done now. Uh, I think still they are a little bit too harsh, so I'm gonna go over it with Devlin Mud again. Okay. So now we're done with the gun and we're going to continue with the flesh and I want to give the flesh a first coat of dwarf flesh. So that's it for the first layer of flesh color and now for the devil and mud wash. Just go over it, don't be sparesome, just like I told you. So now we're done with the wash and it's dry. We're going to go over it with Dwarf Flesh again, and then I'm going to highlight it with Elf Flesh. Okay, so now it's time for the last and final highlight. You should do this with Elf Flesh. Okay, so the skin tone is done. I added in some teeth, as you can see. Okay, so now for some other metal parts that I just forgot. Uh, is the chainmail and his uh, steel boot caps. Uh, just paint them or dry brush them with uh, chainmail. Okay, so the next part I'm going to paint up are the wrappings around his legs. You're gonna paint that with damp stone. Okay, so I did some pouches. I did a lot of white, uh, so I'm gonna do the other pouches probably with Kelton Brown or Ian and Dark's Dark Sun. So now since that's done, I'm going to go over it with Devlin Mud. I'm now going to highlight the whites with uh, some pure denim stone and we'll see how that turns out. Alright, I finally decided what I'm going to do with the grenades. I was planning on that for the entire video but now I've come up with something. I want to paint them with uh, denim stone and after that I want to go over it with Thraka Green. Okay, so that's not really what I wanted it to be, but maybe if I mix up some Thraka Green with Bedab Black it will go better. Now let's hope. Not really the desired result I wanted, but uh, I'm gonna go over it with Bedab Black. Now for his pants I'm going to use Kelton Brown and after that I'm going to highlight it with uh, Denim Stone that's mixed up with Kelton Brown. Okay, so that's his pants without the highlights and um, we're gonna do the highlights now. Okay, so his pants are now highlighted and I'm gonna go over it with Devlon Mud again. Okay, we're first gonna do the bedroll. We're gonna make the bedroll a kind of green color but since it's faded, just like everything else, I want to use scaly green and then up stone. And I want to mix them up and then go over it with devil and mud again. So we're going to use that a lot this tutorial. Okay, so that's the color for the bedroll. Um, yes, we're going to go over it with uh, devil and mud. Okay, so the bedroll is done now. It turned out really nice. The last part in my tutorial is uh, doing the cape. And that's going to be done with umbral umber. Alright, so my cape is done now after two single highlights. Um, I did one color of pure umbro umber, one layer of umbro umber mixed up with fomit brown and another layer mixed up with some more fomit brown. And I'm now gonna finish off the base because we were stopped at that at the beginning of the video.
Alright, so there you got it. An all finished up model Signar Truncher unit leader. I hope you liked the video and that you're gonna learn a lot from this and I hope you're gonna subscribe to my video and that you really like it for this competition.